and good day. My name is Chris Palmer with chrispalmer.org. In today's video, I'd love to share with you how you can quickly and easily create JSON LD schema markup. So I don't want to waste any time. I'm going to share with you the tools and the thought process so you can create your own quickly, easily, quick, so fast your head will spin. All right, so stick with me here. Let me walk you through a couple things first because I see a lot of business owners getting sidetracked. I see a lot of business owners, you know, looking at all these schemas and all these different types and making it more difficult than it needs to be. Yes, I understand that if you're utilizing WordPress, there's a lot of plugins out there, but then there's particular types of schema markup that you want to add that the tool doesn't allow you to add automatically, but you can add custom code. This is what this video is about. I want to share with you how you can create that custom code once you know what you want. Here's how you can create the custom code, but before I show you that, let me point this out to you. On Google search, right, developers.google.com forward slash search forward slash docs, appearance, structured data. This list here to the left hand side on this page is the only schema markup that Google is going to reward, or at least there's an enhancement for. Okay, and I want you to understand this. You know, is it worth us having schema on the page if there's not an enhancement? This is for you to understand and for you to decide, all right? Some will say that, hey, this gives deeper understanding to the page, it will help with rankings. Does it? How many pages have you seen? How many big sites have you seen that do 500 different types of schema and have pages of schema? We're talking pages and pages of schema that's just stuffed to the gills. How often do you actually see this? Rarely, right? What you'll generally see are these types over here to the left-hand side. They'll be filled out properly and completely. And what I mean by properly and completely is this. Come on over here to schema.org. When I say completely and properly, I want you to see, I want you, I want you to see something here. Let's, uh, let's look up the local business schema, for instance. When you take a look at local business, let's say, better yet, let's look up local business for a dentist. As you can see, in order to create it correctly, you need to have organizational, local business, and then dentist. Or you can have thing, place, local business, medical business, dentist, all right? This is the structure, the hierarchy in which we want to create our schema, okay? On top of that, when we're filling out the local business schema for a dentist for this instance, everything that says text needs to be included inside of that particular schema type. This would be creating it correctly and executing it correctly. So now once we have the correct structure, we then need to start looking at, well, then how can I create this? Because the tools, right? Unless you're, unless you have some new tool, right? There's a lot of new schema tools, or maybe you're paying top dollar. How can I create this quickly, easily, not miss anything and not pay a fortune for it? If not, I, I actually want to do it for free, right? Well, this is where Google Bard comes in. All right. Bard is completely free. You can sign up for it. If you don't like Google Bard, you can utilize OpenAI. But what this, the point of today's video is to share with you which schemas actually matter, which is this list listed right on Google. These are the ones that get an enhancement. All right. Also, I want to share with you inside of schema.org, this is where you can find the actual elements that matter. Because once I know what schemas are being rewarded, once I know how the schema needs to be laid out and written, I can then have Google Bard or OpenAI write it for me. You see where this video is going? So now let's do an example together. All right. Anything that says text, right? So here. Now this could get, you can get pretty crazy with this, right? But let's say for instance, okay. So create our notepad. I'm just giving you the process. Uh, create 
JSON LD schema markup for local business, right? For local business that is a dentist. All right. Include uh, create schema uh, markup for a organization that is a local business dentist. Include all three types of JSON LD in one code. Also, for local business schema, include my website, www.website.com, or how about better yet, den dentist.com. Also include my phone number, right? So 570-810-1080. Also include in my schema, right? Also include anything that says text. Payment accepted. Uh, visa. Uh, check. Okay. Then also add... Okay, see, see where I'm going with this? Anything that says text, you can add in. Address, 30 West Broad Street, Tamaqua, PA, 18252. And it goes on and on. Anything that says text inside of your particular types, you can have it create. Now, because I don't want this video to be too long, I just want to point you in the right direction and show you how to formulate a proper schema and then also how to write the proper schema. We're going to go ahead and just take this over to BARD, Google BARD. It's free for now, or you can use OpenAI. Amazon has one. There's tons of them. You don't have to use BARD. I just like using BARD. You come right into here and you just throw it in here, right? And don't worry about spelling. Don't worry about it. It knows. It's here as a tool. In most cases, nor, most of these AIs are actually are, are a big help for any type of code. Look at this. There it is. And then there's the code for the website. Now, if there's things that you want to add or take away, tell it. Say, hey, I need you to modify the above code to add this. I need you to modify. Here, better yet. So, here it's putting in the opening hours. It created the schema. Here's the payment method one that I asked for. Here, we'll add, let's add an extra one. Here. How about uh Dun and Brad Street number? That's what this is, the Dun and Brad Street. All right. Here we'll add another one. Fax number. Anything that says text. How about global location number and Dun and Bad Brad Street? Okay. Please. Rewrite above code to include Dunn and Bradstreet JSON LD and uh, what was the other one? Global identification and this one here and include this. Also, wrap all code inside of script tag okay here we go now it's going to rewrite including those particular elements bam global number with the duns and bradstreet number there you go and you can just keep adding until you have a perfect schema and what i mean by perfect is i'm using the proper hierarchy this is a proper hierarchy of a local business and then I can include as many different types within the main type that I want. What I mean by this is if I have local business, anything that says text here under local business is an additional type. Adding the number, adding the, I'm sure there's a, there's some proper term for it. I call it an additional type. If I have local business, I want to have the phone number done in Bradstreet, the geolocation. I want to include my CID for my maps, whatever you want. 
you write it out, include what you want, tell Google, Bard, or OpenAI to write it. Then once you're done, you can copy and paste. See, and look at, I asked it to wrap it. So now all I have to do is you can add this into your custom section. My name's Chris Palmer. If there's ever anything I can help you with related to SEO, local SEO, schema markup, micro data, anything, it doesn't matter, anything SEO related, digital marketing related, anything that can help your business succeed with search marketing, I'm your guy. My name's Chris Palmer. If you have a question, ask in the section below. Check out chrispalmer.org or the seomastermind.org if you just want to learn more, if you have more questions, anything. I always look forward to helping you out. I can't wait to see you in the next video. I hope this is helpful. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye-bye.